Frank Warren's on the line at quarter 11. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Gareth. Good evening, Mark. Hey, Frank. Evening, Frank. How you doing, mate? Now, Frank, as I said before the break, um, you're uh, disgruntled, if I if I use that word, about some of the things that have been said about Tyson Fury this week. I did a show earlier on in the week, Fight Night Extra, where I said that Tyson Fury was in a desperate corner for an opponent. I meant that opponents have run out for the summer. We, we've discussed it in here, off air as well as on air this week. Um, Joe Joyce would have been an amazing opponent right now. Zhili Zhang would have been an amazing opponent. You're unhappy about some of the things that have been portrayed about Tyson Fury this week on Talk Sport. Yeah, very much so. And I'll tell you why. First of all, is, uh, Joe, let's deal with Joe Joyce and Zhang. We would make him the Zhang fight, but Joe uh, asked for his rematch, which is a rematch clause in his contract when he mm. made his, uh, defended his interim title against Zhang. So that's on, and that fight will take place in September. So that ruled both of them out and mm. obviously would have ruled out um, in the first place. Um, Joe wouldn't have been able to fight because obviously he was uh, coming off the loss. Um, as regarding the situation with Usyk, Tyson a couple of weeks ago put a, uh, just put a, a very simple message out saying, let's get this fight on, let's do it. Um, terms that were agreed, he doesn't, Tyson doesn't want a rematch clause. In other words, if he loses, he, that's the end of it. That's the end of it. But if he loses uh, Usyk, he'll give him a rematch because he's, he's obviously very confident of winning Tyson. Mm. Um, and and I've been saying for ages, all Usyk is interested in is getting a big payday and fighting for big paydays in Saudi Arabia. And I don't blame him for that. I understand mm. that. But don't make it that Tyson's the greedy person. You go to Saudi Arabia because they're going to pay a lot of money, and that's what it is. And mm. if you're getting paid three or four times the amount of money, whether you want to call it greed, good business, or whatever, that's not down to Tyson Fury. That's the reason he did not want to fight Tyson Fury in the UK. And we offered him that fight over the over the summer, and we kept it very quiet. We're not got you know banged on about it. And in the interim period. Um, Usyk never come back with anything. Mm. Then, then my son George contacted, um, or we sent a, a, a written proposal to uh, Matram. He, uh, George, for the Anthony Joshua fight, yeah. For the Joshua fight, he spoke with him. They said they'd come back in a couple of days. Subsequently, George met with um, his management company, uh, Freddie Cunningham, and they said they don't want the fight. They said he's boxing in April. Uh, sorry, boxing in August. He's going to mm. fight in August. He's in training now. Tyson was, you know, he's going to fight in uh, in September. So, uh, and he said, then he's going to then he's going to fight in Saudi in in uh, in December. And obviously, he's going there. And they, you know, everyone's up front about it because he's going to get paid a lot of money to go and fight in Saudi. The reason it's on in December in Saudi is because their stadium at the time wasn't ready, and that was the best time of year for him to do it. Um, and if you recall, Tyson in December was asked to pull out the fight against uh, Chisora on the understanding that, they, that he would then fight um, uh, fight Usyk in Saudi in February. Then it was going to be April, but then they said they can't do it until next Dece this December. So Tyson's not ducked anything. He just wants to be active and busy. And in the meantime, Anthony Joshua is going to fight in August. I don't know who he's going to fight, but why don't he fight... Um, our logic was we'll fight Tyson mm. and fight in Saudi anyway because you, you're fighting Wilder who's lost three times to Tyson anyway and who are you going to be fighting in August? Mm. Is, it, now, is, is, it, he fighting, is he fighting Hergovic who's in their camp or what? But the bottom line is Tyson's ducked no one. He's not uh, He's not desperate. He's going to get a mandatory is going to be put on him. Um, I'm, I'm meeting with um, uh, uh, Mr. Suleiman who's over here uh, right he is at Monday, tomorrow. isn't he? Yeah, that's so right. We're, yeah. So we're meeting, and we're going to sit down and talk. And they're and the mandatory is going to become due. The number one is Wilder. Mm. The number two is Ruiz, who asked for twenty million dollars to fight. That's what Tyson. we understand. Too much, far too much, doesn't work. Does well, it? that's yeah. the equivalent of a hundred million purse bid. So mm, forget mm, about mm, that. Mm. And, he, and no one's going to bid. bid no, well, it's just not going to happen. And number three is AJ. Yeah, now, and then Sanchez, is Frank got, Sanchez is four, isn't he? Well, Wilder's yeah. out of the way, and um, and well, Wilder's going to take this big fight, yeah. as you just said. Yeah, he's going to uh, wait for Saudi money. It's a blessing if well, it costs the Saudi well, money. Well, let me finish, it? and I'll explain to you. You're yeah. jumping in before I, and I'll tell you what's happening because everyone keeps 
keep saying what's going to happen without having any knowledge what's going to happen. Okay, thank you, Frank. So the situation is really simple. Is If Wilder says no, then it goes to Ruiz. And if Ruiz can't travel, because I understand he's got a problem at the moment in the States, then he'll be knocked sideways and it'll be AJ. And if it's AJ and AJ ducks it, then that tells everybody all they need to know. If he takes the fight and it goes to Persbid because we can't agree terms, having offered him 40%, he will get 20% of the Persbid. Mm. Mm. I'd like to see, uh, I'd like to see uh, Fury AJ. I'll be honest with you. Um, yeah. I'm much, much ever going to see it though, Frank. I'd, I'd, I'd Are much we ever see the music fury, but um, having listened to Frank just now, yeah. I'd love to see the uh, the AJ uh, Fury. That's attractive. AJ Fury is that the biggest fight in British boxing? Though? Is that bigger than Fury Usyk? I oh, it's it much is. bigger. I think, I think, I think it I think is. Pe- I think people will buy into it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Been waiting. Although the Usyk fights to be fine, but then the other thing is Usyk's got to get through Daniel Dubois. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think people will get, and I think he's going to be in for a shock. So if Dubois we'll wins see. that, Frank, yeah, um, are we going to see Dubois against Fury? If, if, if Daniel wins it, then he's going to be stuck with some mandatories and we will see what happens. But I believe he can win it. And if he does win it, then that upsets the upper And that's, as as what, what, that's what, August the 26th in Poland, Frank, right? Yeah, they've moved it back a couple of weeks. Frank, so that's fr- where we are. Frank, what's your take on Usyk? Um, signing with Skills Entertainment or revealing look, that today. Do, is is he trying to force that fight with Fury to definitely happen in Saudi? It's not forcing anything. Well, if, I'm if using want, a word no, no, there. No, no, hang on, hang on. You're pushing an open door. Everybody keeps talking about doing the fight in Saudi. Mm-hmm. We've been asking for a written offer from them for at least now three months so no official offer no there's official no offer. offer there's right. zero zero offers mm, been made mm. and the reason is and, and it's and everybody's been and they've been up front about it over there prince khalid and his team skill set they've just and they've said is because they're not in a position yet to make a written offer and if so nothing can be done and tyson's not not going to entertain anything unless it's a written offer and that's it because we don't want the verbal stuff and whatever just put it in writing and if it's if, if if the criteria meets Tyson's demands, then not a problem. And if the money that's being being bandied about the hundreds and hundred millions and hundred and fifty millions, it's a no brainer. It's an absolute no brainer. Tyson wouldn't turn that down. But the fact of the matter is, nobody has offered a penny yet. It's very interesting to know that. Do you think they will wait for the outcome of Usyk and Dubois before they go any further with a business deal? Well, they haven't. They haven't uh, waited for it now because they announced today they signed him. But you've waited months for this, haven't you? I mean, I spoke to George, um, you know, not on live on air, but I spoke to George, and and again, he said he'd even been over there and spoken with Prince Khalid in person about it, and you still haven't it received has. an official offer for the fight over there. And and the, um, Ravi, who's uh, also one of their people, have come back and, and said we will put the, you know, we, we we're just not in a position to do, to put it into writing yet, mm. because at the end of the day, they have to go and. You know they they will they they'll promote it, but they have to go and 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 get the funds from the government. Mm. Mm. So it's so- and that's it. And no one uh, and Ty, listen. What we're saying, all this hanging around, we can do the Usyk fight in December. If 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 that's if there's an offer going to come out in December, we can do it. In the meantime, fight Joshua in 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 the in September. And if Joshua, listen, who knows? Anything can happen in heavyweight boxing. I mean, I think Tyson wins all day long. But if he wins the fight, Joshua, then he's in the he's in that mm. drive. He's in the driving seat with it. Mm. So it's just a no brainer. And wh- who is Joshua going to fight in August? Mm. He's not fighting. To, they're slagging Tyson off. Who's offering him the fight? Is it Dillian White on a sixty mm. on a 60, forty? Who cares? Spence, yeah, on a 60 40 chance of fighting for the world title, and you're gonna get 40 percent of the purse, which you wouldn't get if it goes to purse bids. Mm. Yeah, that's the, that's the that's the bottom line of it. So, he doesn't want the fight, he doesn't want to fight Tyson. We went down this road in, in, in December where we were all we negotiated, we even got a draft contract in place, everything was done, but the fight could never happen because Freddie Cunningham. A couple of weeks after the negotiations all stopped, to his credit, came out and told the truth. He said, look, it was too soon for, for AJ. Plus, he doesn't even have a trainer. 
Now, if we'd have known about that, we'd have, we would we would wouldn't have wasted so much time. Frank, thank you so much for taking the time to join us tonight but and explaining stop a very blaming Tyson. And I'm not here banging the drum for Tyson. This is the fella who's gone abroad and mm. fought the best, gone to their countries and fought, been to the states three times and beat the hardest punching heavyweight out there in three brilliant fights. Went to Germany and fought. In 54,000 people in Germany and give him a boxing lesson when he when he was when he was the best heavyweight out there at the time. Clint I don't Stone. think we're disputing he's not the number well, one. That, in the well, world, that's Frank. what's going we're down, and that and that, that and all. that uh, you, the thing you've done in the week talking to uh, whoever that bloke you was talking Nick to, Nick Pete on Fight Night Extra, uh, whoever yeah. it is. I mean, what is all that nonsense about? It's, what 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 does he know? What, what what? How does he know what Tyson's doing? How does he know? Mm. Well, Frank, we, we appreciate you joining us and explaining it all tonight anyway. Thank you very much. Thanks, Frank. Well, that's the fact. They are the facts. And, and, and what, the, what the narrative should be now is to AJ, why aren't you taking a fight and who are you going to fight? Okay, thanks, why don't he fight, uh, you know, Why don't he fight, if he's not going to fight Tyson, why don't he fight the other guy that's in their camp, Hergovic? Mm. Well, we look, forward to, we look forward to you announcing the next fight. You know, it's as simple as that, you know? Well, we're, we, we're working on it and we will be announcing something. Um, it'll probably be in about 10 days' time once we get, know where we are with, uh, with the WBC and, 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 our, and our other options. Thanks very much, then Frank. Mark, then I might get Mark to make a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talking about his career tonight. Thank Frank, you very much. Yeah, well, he's, he's signed with me. He's, yeah, he's see, Frank, Frank yeah, I was just telling the boys here that our... Um, you got me up and running as a pro. You made a, a big, big fuss of me and really looked after me. But over the years, as a young trainer, you've uh, you've really backed my corner and uh, been a, a you know a class um, worker. I say I've looked up to you, Frank, and I learned a lot of you, and I still well, do. To yeah, this you're day. A bo- he's a boxing very... legend, Frank. You're a boxing legend. You always have been. I feel a boxing legend. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> wise, Mark, wise man. Mark, wise just man. quickly, just quickly, where do you where do you rank Fury? You know, in the history of, of, of heavyweights at the moment, well, F- Fury is the best one out there. He's number one. Is yeah, he's, he's, the best he- he's the best heavyweight of his generation. He's the he's number one. He's the governor. Listen, he's intellectually smart ab- above them all. He he owns he owns the arenas when he's in there. He owns rooms when he's in there. He's just got something about him that you can't put your finger Do on. Do you it. think he, he'll have a legacy that will go down as an all time great? Hundred percent, hundred percent. He has well, already. It, 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 if the, if they fight him, he will. Mm. And, let, and, and the only way now these fights are going to happen is if is if the money comes from the the Middle East from Saudi because they're signing these guys up. So the you know most important part of the jigsaw is Tyson because as you've just said and everybody in boxing knows he's the he's the number one. He is indeed. Thanks very much, Frank. Mark as well. Thank you so much for joining thank us you. in the studio thank tonight. You, Thanks, thank Frank. you both.